An insight on black widow bite. Black widows are hazardous arachnids whose bites can result in serious harm if not treated swiftly and correctly after being inflicted upon a person. The female spider that inflicts the black widow bite is a poisonous creature. Black widow spider females are widespread, especially in regions with warmer weather. They prefer wood piles, flower beds, and rock nooks. Black widow venom can result in severe pain, as well as other symptoms such as perspiration, fever, nausea, and vomiting. In this video, we'll explore the after effects of a black widow bite and suggest what to do if you ever have one. We will discuss the causes, symptoms, prevention, and treatment of this poisonous creature. Let's jump right in together. First, let's look at why do black widows bite? What are its causes? A black widow bite is produced by the female spider's strong venom, which contains neurotoxins. The area around the bite may experience a stinging, burning sensation because of this poison. Rarely, these toxins can also result in anaphylaxis, which can be fatal. The severity of the symptoms of a black widow bite can vary. Well, let's talk about some major and minor symptoms of black widow. Localized pain at the bite site, muscle cramps, nausea, vomiting, sweating, difficulty breathing, elevated blood pressure, and in rare cases, seized muscles or cardiac arrest are some of the symptoms of a black widow bite. The affected area will typically experience severe discomfort after being bitten, which may be accompanied by localized edema and redness. Not just physical symptoms, these poisonous creatures can cause some psychological effects. Well, isn't it an irony that such a small creature can be this poisonous and life-threatening for human beings? Some people may furthermore experience psychological side effects like anxiety or paranoia in addition to these physical symptoms. Black widow bite victims may have anaphylactic shock because of an allergic reaction in severe circumstances. Such situations necessitate prompt medical care. Joint discomfort and general melee may develop over time in black widow bite victims. Well, there are several factors that affect how severe the symptoms are. These factors include the age and health of the person who is bitten, as well as the dosage of venom used. In either case, after being bitten by a black widow, you should seek immediate medical assistance to avoid further damage. Now, the most important and interesting part is how you can treat the black widow's bites. Bites from black widow spiders require immediate medical attention and thorough care. The first stage is identifying the bite because it will reveal whether anti-venom is required. Try to capture or take a picture of the spider if it can help with identification. The venom can bring an elevated heart rate, severe muscle cramps, and stomach pain. Well, in most cases, the pain begins at the bite site and subsequently radiates outward. The first signs of an infection often appear 10 minutes after a bite, although they can take up to an hour to appear. What are the medications for its treatment when anti-venom is not required? Over-the-counter drugs like ibuprofen or acetaminophen may aid with pain control when anti-venom is not required. Local anesthetic cream can help reduce swelling and ease discomfort by being applied to the affected area. Well, if symptoms are very severe, then one must need anti-venom treatment within the time limit. If you need to receive anti-venom therapy for symptoms that are more severe, you must do so within four hours of being bitten. After receiving anti-venom therapy, there could still be some lingering soreness and cramping in the muscles. This can occasionally last for a few days or weeks. If the bite is not that severe and poisonous, you can also treat black widow bite by using symptom control methods. Bed rest and avoiding vigorous activities should be part of symptom control methods. Make sure to drink plenty of fluids to avoid dehydration brought on by excessive sweating, brought on by feverish circumstances. It's also crucial to consume carbohydrate-rich foods, take the necessary medications, and avoid putting further strain on already damaged muscles. There are several precautions you should take when moving around in regions where black widow spiders are common, even if there isn't a foolproof technique to avoid getting bitten by one completely. Let's talk about how you can avoid the black widow bite. What are the precautionary measurements? Number one, keep beverages and food properly. To prevent spiders from being drawn to any food or drink, please make sure it is stored properly. This applies to both inside your home and outside on patios or decks 
where food may draw spiders or other pests. Number two, before using outside items, check them. Check any outside items or furniture for spiders or their webs before using them. This includes lawn furniture. These covers goods used outdoors for hobbies like gardening, hiking, etc., as well as those kept in sheds or barns. Number three, when working outside, wear long johns. Wearing long pants, long sleeve shirt, and gloves are all necessary when spending time outside because they cover your arms and legs. Number four, check your home properly. Pay close attention to any little holes outside your home that could serve as a site of entrance for black widow spiders. Number five, when handling wood, put on gloves. Use gloves if you're gonna handle wood outside to prevent any potential spiders from coming into touch with your skin. Number six, expert assistance. Contact a seasoned pest control operator. They can offer guidance on the best course of action for solving the issue in a safe and efficient manner. Well, if you like more informative videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our next upload. Thanks for watching.